Are you thinking about moving to Longview, Texas? Well, if that's the case, there are five things that you should know before moving to this part of East Texas. And if you stick around, I'll even give you a bonus at the end. What's going on everyone? My name is Brandon Holman and I am your East Texas slash STR agent. If you're wondering what STR is, stick around for the bonus and I'll explain that part. But before you, uh, we get going here, if you could just maybe like or subscribe to this channel, it keeps me motivated to keep on putting out material and hopefully I can give you guys just all the information I can about East Texas. Let's get started. Number one, size. Longview, Texas is pretty big with a little bit over 80,000 people. It's not your Dallas or Houston or any of the major cities we have here in Texas. However, what I love about Longview, Texas is even though it is big, it also has kind of that small town vibe because you got certain areas, whether you're in downtown Longview or you're off Loop 281, it all has kind of its own, its, its own little flair. I really like Longview, Texas. If you're looking kind of for that small town uh, feel or even kind of that city feel, it, it kind of offers both, which is great. There's a lot of surrounding communities. You know, your smaller cities but are close enough to Longview where you're just a hop, skip, jumping away if you enjoy sometimes that city life. Number two, location. Something that's great about Longview is it's right off Interstate 20. Highway 80 runs right through Longview and both those go straight to Dallas. Dallas is not too far away. You're about 120-ish, 125 miles west and so you kind of have this direct path to Dallas and for people that you know want to visit Louisiana, it's not that far away either. And Shreveport, which is kind of a major city in Louisiana, is only about 60 miles east of Longview. Something else that's great about Longview, especially for you fishermen or just enjoy getting out in the water or going skiing, there are 25 lakes within 75 miles of Longview. It's just great to get out there uh, on the water. Number three, cost of living. A lot of people uh, are having trouble finding affordable houses and out here you're probably going to find a house around the $250,000 range. If we look up on just the, the database for uh, the National Realtors Association or I've actually got access to the Texas Realtor Association, it shows that houses are selling for around $250,000. And so it's really in that range, you know, of affordability. It's not too bad if you're wanting to come to the city, uh, but even if you want to live on the outskirts, you're, you're going to find affordable housing, which is, is pretty nice out this way. Number four, it has restaurants and shopping galore. Whether you just want to go to the mall or if you want to go to Sam's Club, Brookshire's, we've got Walmart. And if you want a bite to eat, Longview is known for their restaurants. We've got barbecue uh, up the wazoo out here. We've got Tex-Mex, so many different options. Of course, have all your different fast food type restaurants, your Chick-fil-A, your Raising Cane's. Uh, Whataburger is kind of a big thing out here in the South. Other things you'll find out this way are all, all your other shopping needs, whether you know you need a mechanic. You got Ashley's Furniture, a, a home outlet. You've got Lowe's, Home Depot. You're gonna find everything you need in Longview, Texas. And number five, it really is a great place to raise a family. There are so many different parks around here. If you have kids, so many different options. Pickleball is a big thing out here. Disc golf is a big thing out here. And there are tons of playgrounds. In fact, I'm going to show you one of my kids' favorite. You can probably see now why this is my kids' favorite place to go. And don't get me wrong, my wife and I like it as well. The parents can play on it with the kids. And there's nice sitting benches all around. And there's actually this walking trail that goes all the way around the, the, the playground. So it's great because if you want to get a good brisk walk in, 
and you have maybe an older child to help watch some of the little kids or stuff like that. I mean, it just works out great. It's just a great place for the kids to play. It's right here in Longview. It's just a, a great, great community. And number six, if you stuck around, thank you very much. Number six is just the investing opportunities out this way. STR stands for short-term rental. I enjoy short-term rental investing and Airbnb is a big thing out here. There are quite a few outdoor activities around Longview. State parks that are not too far away, camping. People sometimes just, it's funny, want to get out of the big city of Dallas and they want to come you know, to Longview because it does feel smaller. And so a lot of people are coming to Longview because it does have a lot to offer, but it's also a way for them to get out of the city. And that's it. That's the five plus one more. So thanks for sticking around. If you just would consider, you know, liking and subscribing and hitting that bell, by giving me a like, it kind of motivates me to continue to put out material. It tells me that, hey, there's people that would just want to see more about East Texas. If you have any questions or, you know, or comments, you know, please just have, you know, give me some questions below and I'd be happy to answer. And if you know you want to work with me, I'd be happy to help you out and just to show you around Longview and to tell you a little bit more about it. And I also do most of the areas around Longview as well. Thanks for sticking around with me. Have a good one.